My name is Lamise and I go to the Evergreen State College and I'm going to change it by organizing on campus. The Change It Conference is a summer activist campaign training program for a large number of students to learn about how to make social change um, for environmental good. Hi, just arrived at the Greenpeace training, really excited and walk into my room. Well in 2006, Seventh Generation, who are a very environmentally responsible corporation, approached Greenpeace to explain that they had a vision of running a summer training program. I am the main now Greenpeace does a lot of work with students, we have a really strong student network, so it seems a really good natural partnership. So let's get started. Welcome to Change It. Thank you for being with us. Woo! I am here at Change It primarily because I wanted to learn more about the environmental aspect of the activism that I would like to do. Um, I'm here because I want to change people's perspectives. One, two, three. Wow! Hey, we're getting started on day two of Change It right now. We're about to see some awesome speakers, John Murphy, Kate Roth, and Paul Lowe. It is never easy to fight social justice issues and environmental protection issues because it is never easy to be brave. You know, what I want to try and talk about is just kind of a a little bit of big picture stuff. How do you folks see your role? So this week we're training the students in a wide um, range of skills. One of the most important skills that we're training the students in at Change It is recruitment. Like if someone gives you like an obvious opening that's like, really, because here's my own personal reason for why I care about global farming. And this is because many of the students here are the only person from their campus or community that's at Change It. And they're going to go back there in a few weeks time and they'll be all alone. And some people can make a change with a, with a campaign group of one, but it's a lot better if you have a powerful force. And um, basically, we are practicing petitioning right now. Um, Hi, do you have a second to help out with global warming? Sure. The culmination of this week at Change It, we're going to do a very large scale um, action event on the issue of global warming. Hi, this is um, the last day of action for Change It, and we are heading to uh, downtown Seattle to do some direct action, and uh, it's probably going to be on the news, so stay tuned. Um, global warming is, quite frankly, the most pressing environmental issue that we face. It's the challenge of our generation. Mm -hmm. Greenpeace has been working on global warming for a number of years, um, since the 80s now. Um, but it's only in the last few years that the sort of broader um, general public has caught on to just how urgent that is. We are headed to an overpass um, where we, <laughs> yay, where we are going to hang a banner. kind of doing a grassroots blitz today. We've got about 80 volunteers out and we're going uh, doing door to door and street canvassing. We're asking folks to fill out postcards, um, asking for Representative Reichert's support of uh, the Safe Climate Act. Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Basically right now we are headed to uh, Representative Reichert's office. We, uh, we've been collecting petitions all day and we're going to go hand deliver them to him. I think it was really awesome. Like she was smiling. She looked kind of like uh, surprised, I guess, at the amount of people. And we sent the message here, but it's loud and clear. This thing's growing. It, there's definitely power in numbers. It's not over, but it's starting. Thank you very much. Let's go to dinner. <laughs> It's very, very inspiring to know that, um, you know, we can't solve all the world's problems, obviously, but we can sure make a difference if we all uh, just get together. Hey, good morning.
you can use these skills for anything. There's more power in people than there is in money. And Greenpeace definitely showed me that. People that want to find out more about all these issues should go online and check out www.greenpeace.org.